hi and welcome back to my channel it's your girl joe if you are new here do not forget to hit that subscribe button before we get started make sure that to turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time i post a video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it helps me out a lot and comment down below so for today's video i decided to show you guys how i maintain my buzz cut I do it I cut it myself and I'm bleaching myself and when I first started to do it I wish there was videos out here like this to help me so I made this video for you guys so if it's helpful at all again make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you are not following me on Instagram follow me over there and let's just get right into the video <laughs> okay so as you can see my hair is kind of long you know long like long for me for it being short so i'm ready for it to go i usually try to keep up with it it just grows so fast this is like two weeks worth and it's already back so the first thing i did was change my shirt so i don't get anything on it because i'm tired of getting all this hair and stuff on it stopped at the beauty supply store and just got me a cape so that i'm not like getting hair all over me because it's itchy and it's annoying this was literally 2.99 so I paid three dollars to look like a trash bag okay I have my clippers here I've just put on a guard so that it's not really really short so this is the number one it's one eighth of an inch um, like I said, I feel like my hair is really long, so I already oiled up the blade. I usually cut my hair myself because I don't get it lined up or anything, so I just shave it right off because it doesn't really matter. It's going to be blonde anyway, so you can't really see. Get right into it. Now that my hair is all cut, whatever, see it's pretty short, I'm going to clean myself off and then come back and get ready to dye this fucker. We're back, we're cleaned off-ish. So I already went ahead And I just rubbed some um, coconut oil. I just got this little thing. Just got this little thing from the beauty store. Rubbed it all over my head, especially my edges, to try to hopefully help it from burning, you know? And so, for lightening powder, I'm using this light, Matrix Light Master. And then for volume, I'm using just a regular 40 volume. I don't measure how much I put into the bowl. I just put whatever I think is gonna cover my hair since I don't really have any hair. So I'm just gonna mix it together in the bowl. You guys want to know what comes with these little scoops? I'm gonna put about two scoops, even though that's way too much. But I'd rather my hair be moist, you know, than it dry out fast. <laughs> Just pour this in here. Oh. 
I want to get like a good consistency going. I think that's a good uh, consist consistency. So I'm gonna try to apply this really fast all over my head so that um, I can, it's gonna start processing. Obviously, as soon as it touches my head, but I don't want it to burn. So we're just gonna try to move as quickly as possible. Concentrate in. I'm gonna do that. Um, my. Oh, I'm gonna try to do my edges last because um, that should be brown now. So I'm gonna apply this on. All right. Now that we got, now that you got it all covered, we're gonna. Put this on our head. All right. Gonna let this process for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna wash it out. I'm gonna show you guys what I wash it out with. So since I already showed you how my hair turned out in the intro, I just want to show you what I use to wash out my hair. So I use this duo, this lightening shampoo and also this lightning conditioner so these are supposed to help um the brassy and yellow tones to come out of my hair so i also use this purple um shampoo just to help again with the brassiness and yellow together in my hair i use the combination of the two i make sure once this is in my hair that it's lathered up so it doesn't stain my hair purple um so yeah that's what i do to get my hair blonde hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys in my next video